right, we're gonna start as welcome to this week's video. Woo! As you broke my title, this is gonna be a Premiere Pro video, and like always, I don't know what effects we're gonna do. It was originally gonna be color grand, and I'll get to that when I get to the spinning wheel, but since I have to refilm it, I again don't know what the edit's gonna be. So, with that being said, let's head on over to my computer and figure out what edit we're gonna do. So, come on! Hey y'all, as you can see, we're on my computer now, and we got green screen, cloning, and color grading. And like I was saying in the intro, I actually filmed this video before, and we originally did color grading, but this computer here, it only has like, like so many gigabytes, and, and the reason why it's already at 11 gigabytes is because I have The Sims 3 on it, and The Sims 4, and I'm also working on the Udemy video, and as you can see, there's like a lot of stuff because of the video, and that's like using up all, all the stuff face I have pretty much and I wanted to edit the Shamrock Festival video that was posted before this and I think I accidentally deleted that video because of the amount of gigabytes it had. It was like 24 gigabytes so because of that I had to refilm this video and there's still some footage of the color grading video that I originally filmed like as you can see here this clip and this clip and I believe I also have a screen recording of the video and I believe this camera right here still has the footage of like when I actually went out to the living room and like filmed everything but I I don't know so we're just gonna like refill the whole video so I'm gonna like move this out of the way and I guess we're gonna go ahead and refilm the video now technically I already did color grading because I filmed it originally but like I said I don't have the footage anymore so we got color grading back on here so I'm hoping I don't get that again if I do I think I might use the footage that's all around on my computer or whatever's on my camera, so I, I might just use that. So it'll allow me not to have to film again if I get color green. But if I get green screen or cloning, I gotta like film those videos again. So I'm not really sure what it's gonna pick. So technically, like I said, we already did color green, but I don't have the footage anymore. So I think if it picks color green, I'm just gonna like fully refilm everything I did for that video. And then green screen and cloning, I'm obviously gonna get more footage for that. So yeah, y'all yeah, were supposed to originally get a color green video but like I said I made an editing mistake and we're just gonna like I guess refilm everything and I have my v-drive which has the same amount of gigabytes as my computer but the only thing is it does not have sub 3 on it so I think I'm good to put this whole video on that v-drive and have like other videos that I want to work on while I'm working on the Udemy video and by the way that's going pretty good right now I think I'm on the 10th lesson right now so it's going pretty good anyway enough rambling we're gonna screen record again and and we're gonna see what the wheel picks. So green screen, cloning, or color grain. So let's see. Is this gonna be a completely different video or? Okay, we gotta do cloning! So this is gonna be a completely different video from what I filmed then. I could technically just skip the spin the wheel part and just doing color green again, but I mean I gotta pick something different. So I'm gonna go in the living room and film a bunch of cloning clips. There's like different ways to clone. There's like the basic cloning and there's like more advanced cloning and we'll get into that when I film it and edit it. So yeah, with that being said, let's go film the clips we need. Alright y'all, we just filmed filming the clips we need and we got into the timeline right here obviously i haven't done anything but unlike the last few times i've done a premiere pro video i'm actually gonna show the finished product first and i'm gonna show you guys how i got there so so here's a clip of that What's up y'all? My name is Megan 1 and my name is Megan 2 and today we have a pretty cool video for you and that is showing you some pretty cool cloning tricks. Right now it's just me and me and not only can you do basic cloning like we are doing right now, but there's this thing called After Effects and you can do something pretty cool with that. What's that? This! Oh. Oh. Why did you do that? Because I can. <laughs> Anyway, not only can you have two clones and have the ability to punch yourself, you can also have the ability to have another clone right here. Hi, my name is Megan3. And not only can you have three clones, you can have multiple clones like this. Oh my god, there's like so many clones here. There's like at least ten. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Isn't that cool, clone two? Yeah, pretty cool. What the heck? There's at least 10 clones. Oh 
my gosh. I don't think we need this many clones anymore, so... That is right. You can do so many cool things with cloning. Anyway, that is all I have for this video. So, add a thing and see what you can do. As you can see, I did multiple ways of cloning. I did basic cloning, the hunt yourself with After Effects, and then multiple cloning with green screen. And yeah, those are pretty much the ways you can like clone. And there's also different methods too. Like over here, you had the mask and then there's crop. I'll like show you guys how to do both with same clip. I think for the final product, I'm gonna like use the mask. So right now, as you can see, it's just me and right now like it's all one clip so i'm actually gonna take this out of timeline and i'm actually gonna go to the source throw it in there and i'm gonna add endpoint and then i'm gonna scroll through to right there that's that's pretty much where i stopped talking as the first clone and i'm just gonna like throw that in right here i'm gonna make that, that, that like the main clip so nothing's really gonna happen to that clip and then i'm gonna start the clip like right here all right that's pretty much where i stopped talking is that exactly timed right because right here i do have to cut that down there's a lot of cutting but i just want to like show basically what i'm doing so yeah this is what it looks like with just two clones what's up y'all my name is megan what I said it was like cropping, so we're gonna do that method first. I don't really use this method. I did when I first started doing clean, so we're just gonna hit crop. Like we're just gonna type that, but you could like go under video effects and transform and you can find it that way. But the easier way is to literally type in crop. Like that's how I find my edits. So we're gonna put that into the first clip and then in this case we're gonna we're gonna crop it to the right. Oh actually no, to the left. The right would be the middle clip, the clip that I'm not do anything with it. and as you can see that's like one method to crop it and then you would have to edge the feather that's like one method to clone yourself but i don't want to do that so we're gonna remove attributes another method is you're still like this so this is what it looks like there's no mask so that's if i turn off one layer so you want to make sure you're on the top layer because if you're on this layer and you had the mask well you're not gonna get the results you want in this case you can either use the four point polycon mask or the free free draw resume so i think i'm gonna just use the mask see it's already like i guess mapped out the way you want but you still have to like stretch it a little bit so i'm gonna like stretch it all the way to this corner this corner over here and i'm gonna bring it down right here because it's like getting the way of my hand and and then yeah i'm just gonna do it like that it's basically the same thing as cropping but and you can also up the mask feather a little bit i think like right there is pretty good that's basically how you would do glowing now i'm gonna like mute the first track and here's this Basically, I record myself on my phone as this clone so I know like when to talk and whatnot. I do that sometimes when I do a clone videos. And that, that's like a good way to help know your cues and whatnot to like respond. So that's basically what I did. And in this clone, I'm actually recording myself, I guess, talking. It's like one way to like know your cues and whatnot, like I said. And then somewhere in the middle is like my favorite thing. And that is punching yourself with After Effects. Before, before that, I want to show you guys a good way not to not to do cloning good way not to like clone is if I I start out here in the first clone and then with the second clone I for some reason moved the camera this is not what you want because what happens is if you try to like mask the second clone like since it's like way over yeah it's basically right where I'm standing I should be like over here but instead this is here like this is what it looks like if i try to like even make the mask here instead of getting my clone i get this i'm like standing right where i should be <laughs> sometimes you can fix this but in this case i could not fix it this i would have to refilm because yeah i didn't realize i was right in the middle like so i'm trying to do it in this situation is to keep it in the same shot like like how i did the cloning like i kept that as like one shot like i didn't stop recording or anything i just kept it going and that's like one way to 
have it be the right way. What I just did was the complete wrong way to like frame your comment videos. You want the same shot, like you want the same frame. So like right here, this is what you want, this is the exact framing you want. Cause I'm standing right here, and then the other me is standing right here. Th this is how you want to film a cloning video, and over here is not how you want to film a cloning video. Now that we got how not to film a cloning video out of the way, it's time to do my favorite thing, punch in yourself. Now it's time for my favorite thing. I actually lined up how I want the clips to be, but this is what it looks like without After Effects. Next, and you can do something pretty cool with that. What's that? This? Ugh! I punch, but as you can see, my arm gets cut off. Like, that's what my arm is actually doing, but it's cut off. So what I gotta do is I have to take layer down here in the middle, hit Alt, and bring it up to the exact point where I punch. And this is where the mask comes in. Well, After Effects comes in. You, you could technically go here and like put on a mask over the fist the whole time. What's gonna happen with that? Like, I'm gonna try to like do that real quick. Like that, that is one way you could do it. But the thing is, like pull back. Like the arm does not follow. My arm's not in the frame at all. So that's like the harder way to do it. But an easier way to like do it, let's say you have After Effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna save a course. So control S or go here to file and save and you're gonna right click on this clip here and you're gonna go to replace with after effects compilation so right now it's like loading up it's gonna take a minute and we're gonna call this punch and we're gonna hit save and i get this clip here and then i'm gonna like double click just in case i think it's okay but i'm gonna hit pre compose move all attributes to new one and then we're gonna double click we're gonna hit rotor brush and we're like rotor brush my whole body here not the exact but you want to write, write a brush. I'm probably gonna speed for this right now. Okay, sometimes, as you can see here, there's like this little bit of the chair. I don't want this. Um, it might not be a huge issue, but I don't want it. So we're gonna hit all, and as you can see, it becomes red. So we're gonna like erase that. And then like right here too. I think that's my pants leg, so we're gonna like leave it there. And then up here too, I have this like black hair, so we're gonna like remove that. I don't want that. I'm not gonna be precise with the hair, cause I just wanna like show you guys how to do a punch. And I'm not an After Effects expert at all. I'm more of just Premiere Pro. So this is not gonna be perfect. We got my whole body highlighted. So now we're gonna like hit control and the right button. This allows me to move in frames. As you see, my whole entire body the whole time is in the frame that I just created. Now we're back in Premiere Pro with the finished effects here. That's what it looks like when you punch yourself. Right now I am talking about having a third clone right here. So it's basically the same thing as like add in the first clone. So what I'm gonna do is click on the clip I want and then I'm gonna hit the square mask again, go over here and make a mask here. That's how you basically put a third clone. So it's basically the same way. So now there's like three. So what I usually do is mask only the side clones here. And that's how you would do three clones. But let's say you want more than three clones for whatever reason. You can't technically do this without a green screen, but I would recommend doing it with a green screen. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of these clones right here. Right now, I have like about six clips like selected and I'm gonna like go here to video one and I'm actually gonna like add a background. So this is like green screen. I still want a shot of the chair, like as like the background. So we're gonna like, we're gonna throw that into here cause all I want is the video. And then, and then I add in an uh, insert frame hold. Cropped the video until it was just me and the green screen. And I didn't film this, but I added in some green screen effects. And now we're up to speed. We got the clip green screen right now. I don't really show the process because I'm not doing a green screen video right now. But we also got these other clips. We're gonna throw in these clips real quick. Now, since I have a bunch of clips here, I <laughs> I obviously do not want to do the same thing like to all of them. So what I'm gonna do is hit the first clip where I actually did the effect copy and then take the clips don't have it and then paste after boops i just gotta move around so all 
All right, not really the best example, but this is how you'd like clone multiple clips. And those are all the methods to cloning. Now, I already showed you guys the final products, but here it is again. What's up, y'all? My name is Megan One. And my name is Megan Two. And today we have a pretty cool video for you. And I've shown you some pretty cool cloning tricks. Right now, it's just me and me. And not only can you do basic cloning like we are doing right now, but there's this thing called After Effects, and you can do something pretty cool with that. What's that? This. <laughs> Ah, why did you do that? Because I can. <laughs> anyway, not only can you have two clones and have the ability to punch yourself, you can also have the ability to have another clone right here. Hi, my name is Megan Three. And not only can you have three clones, you can have multiple clones like this. Oh my god, there's like so many clones here. There's like at least ten. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Isn't that cool, Clone 2? Yeah! Pretty cool! What the heck? There's at least 10 clones. Oh my gosh. I don't think we need this many clones anymore, so... That is right. You can do so many cool things with cloning. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. So, I have a thing in. See what you can do. So with that being said, it is time for the outro. Alright y'all, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all had a lot of fun learning more about how to clone yourself in videos. For experience, it's a really fun and cool thing to do. Especially when you get After Effects involved. Even though I use After Effects a little bit in this video, I'm probably not going to do a series about After Effects because the only thing I really know how to use is the rotor brush and even with that I'm not an expert. The only thing I really know how to use the rotor brush for is like punching yourself. So I guess once I get more experience on After Effects I think I might do a little series about it but for now I'm just gonna do a series on Premiere Pro. And the only thing that really needed After Effects was that punching effect. So you won't see me using After Effects in a series because like I said I only know how to use it for punching your clone. So, so I'm not gonna like use it anymore during the series. But but those are like all the cool ways to clone yourself. Like that's the basic method with, with just two clones and then adding one more and then having more than three clones with a green screen and then punch yourself with After Effects. Like, hope you enjoyed all those methods. Like I said, this video was supposed to be color graying, but like I said in the beginning, I accidentally deleted all the footage that I have for that video. So I decided to refilm that video and what I did, the will pick clone, so I got a completely different video out of it. Even though this was supposed to be color green, I'm glad I got a chance to do cloning, so. The next video, the effects that will be on the on the wheel will be green screen, color grading, and what I forgot to put in this video, titles. So we're gonna see what the wheel picks during that episode. And once those run out, I'm gonna add in more effects. So stay tuned for that. And also something else to stay tuned for is the Udemy Premiere Pro video. I'm still doing that, so there's probably not gonna be a video of that in March, but there's will be in April. I think what I might do is break it up into two videos, like have the first video be the first 10 sessions I did and then have the second video be the other 10 or 12 in this case because it's 22 days. So yeah, that's going pretty good and stay tuned for that too. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to keep on signing. Bye!